Hey there, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And um, I'm going to be the one who's going to be going over a couple of cards for you for your November 2020 message. Uh, thank you so much. And an extra special thanks to Nicole for allowing me to also uh, be on her platform as well. All right. So I'm having everybody working with this crystal right here. This is selenite. All right, this is a very low maintenance crystal when it comes to cleansing it. Um, it is great for purifying your atmosphere. It's great for, you know, protection, also purifying uh, yourself as well. So that is that. We have a couple of shout outs that I'd like to give. And thank you so much for your likes. Thank you so much for giving me the chance to watch and comment. Now, it said that there were seven comments, but I only saw uh, these ones I'm going to mention so uh, I apologize if I miss anyone. So thank you. Uh, big shout out to Spiritual Guidance. Nicole had left a message when it comes to uh, the Taurus reading from the October 2020. Uh, said, excellent read. Uh, that is your moon sign in Taurus. So you understand exactly what I'm going through, girl. Uh, you know, for very, very briefly, very quickly, moon sign is pretty much your feelings, your heart. All right. Excellent read. XOXO. Kisses uh, and hugs to you, Nicole, as well. Thank you so much. So I understand you're feeling it. Uh, for some that may be unfamiliar, we have Taurus that your ruling planet is Venus, and uh, you are an Earth sign. All right. We also have uh, another shout out here, and I do apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name. Kong Data uh, says thanks for the re uh, for this Taurus reading. It would be better if there was a specific title for the reading instead of the general one to attract more viewers, and good luck with building up your channel. Thank you so much for the constructive criticism, um, and I do agree with you. Thank you, and uh, I am working on that. And also, too, again, the other comments I did not see, so uh, that says, you know, it, it almost reminds me of that song, who is it? Uh, I always feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> Okay, so Taurus, I'm only bringing this up because you may be going through the same thing too. Uh, this reading could have to do with health, friends, family, love, lack thereof, and uh, this reading can go vice versa and is not gender specific, okay? Also, Venus is named after the goddess of beauty and also uh, love, all right? It is a, a planet that is covered pretty much in carbon dioxide, all right? So anytime that the sun comes in, it really traps that, you know? So that's where you get that that heat, that fire there, even though you're an earth sign, all right? So the atmosphere does do that. So let's just get right into the good stuff here. Let's pull you a card, see what's going on. And uh, let's see, I'm going to be asking my angels and spirit guides to please come through if there's any particular messages. When it comes to our dear Taurians, I'm going to just pull a couple of cards just to come in and say hello. And I appreciate all of you. So what do we have here? Okay, we have the Direction Guardian. All right, on the bottom here, it says choose your path. You've got, you know, the different paths here. You have the north, south, east, and west. You've got the lion here. You've got, uh, I believe that's a buffalo. It looks like a bull, you know, and you've got the hawk here. You also have an angel here. Also, too, what this really looks like to me is the uh, seraphim angels. All right, um, so that's a very powerful angel, and uh, you know, when it comes to working with the angels, all right, I am a certified angel oracle reader through actually Nicole's courses, all right, um, and basically it's like this let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right, so the seraphim, all right, if you were to go look it up or do any research on it uh, very quickly, and this does have a lot to do with your reading, Taurus, all right. Uh, seraphims may come across like a bit uh, scary looking, even though that's not their intentions. Uh, typically, when we're talking about the depiction of imagery, the seraphim has uh, two wings covering their uh, right here. All right, two wings covering their feet. All right, and the other two. All right, uh, it pretty much it's like this. You know, they feel. Uh, 
unworthy sometimes. So some of you may be going through this in relationships when they are coming through to divine. Uh, normally they pretty much go forward. And it's really interesting if you look into it, all right? And it's just like they've got these things covered here. And they almost do not want to look up. They look down a lot. So working on eye contact, working on your posture, all right? And it's almost like they come to divine source and they don't feel worthy, all right? Even though they are, they may get that feeling. So some of you may be going through that, all right? This is choosing your path, not letting others dictate uh, where you're meant to go. And oftentimes, and uh, I've even gone through this too in life, we all go through it, you know, uh, whether you have parents that are there, whether you don't, you know, uh, people have an expectation of you. The, the bigger thing here is the expectation that you hold for yourself and actually following through with it. You're going to get a lot of naysayers, all right? You're going to get a lot of um, negative stuff coming through, and uh, those are learning lessons for us in order to help us catapult to greatness and in order to help us achieve the things that we want in life and not living uh, through somebody else's. You know, uh, and it's great to get constructive criticism. However, how many of you out there, you either have that parent or somebody that you know, maybe a friend, uh, possibly like a friend of me, or somebody out there, they're just like, you know, you should dress like this, or you should take this career, because if you don't, then you're gonna have nothing in life. You should date this person, you should marry that person because they're financially stable. You should do this, you should do that. And you're just like, whoa, hold your horses there. This is my life, okay? And absolutely consider the source, you know, and there's no issues with uh, communicating with that to people. However, uh, again, consider the source, consider where they are coming from. Is it coming from a place of love? Is it coming from a place of protection? Because a lot of times our parents may do that for us, you know, and it's not because they're trying to be mean. It's just like, all right, you need to go to this school. You need to do that because if you don't, you're going to fail in life. And that's automatically putting that intention out there that if you do not follow their plan, <laughs> their plan, you know, that you're going to fail. And that's not true. You know, uh, Torians are very creative. Uh, they are pretty good when it comes to money. Uh, if you are a cross watcher, possibly looking into getting into business or maybe collaborating, earth signs are definitely the way to go. All right. Uh, you could be talking Taurus. You could be talking Capricorn. You know, you could also be talking, who am I forgetting? Virgo, 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 Virgos, okay? Big shout out to my Virgos out there. You know, they know how to hold it together. They can sm uh, spot a snake in the grass from a mile away. And it's just like, oh, honey, please don't even. All right, so what does this have to do with love? You know, this also has to do with, you know, possibly working on your throat chakra. You've got the, the lion here. Some of you could be working with Leo energies uh, also too, and that could be on any level. All right, also having the sight, you know, having those hot guys there, having the sight. A lot of you are, you know, uh, you've got a Claire of some kind out there. A lot of you are empaths out there. You know, also too, when it comes to working with this lion, this lioness energy, uh, that's finding your voice, finding your courage, you know, kings and queens of the jungle out there. Uh, there's also a very interesting story that I'd like to share with you. I forgot where I heard this from. It was one of the motivational um, things I was listening to. And what they were saying is that, you know, uh, especially, and this is not to scare or frighten anyone. However, um, when someone's trying to spiritually attack you or a uh, character uh, assassination, if you will, um, or somebody's just trying to watch your downfall, possibly create a show about it, you know, uh, possibly expose you. And it's just like, okay, you put all your energy into doing this to these people. What are you really getting out of it? <laughs> you know, uh, maybe you may be getting some money out of it, but how long is that money going to last? You know, uh, how long is that going to get you to where you would really like to be. Is that what you want to do to people, all right? And, you know, nobody's perfect out there. I've made plenty of mistakes too in my past. What we do is we change it. However, the story that I heard is that, you know, with the prides, you know, uh, the lions, you know, they'll send out the toothless one, you know, the, the older one, all right, to kind of scare its prey and be like, oh my gosh, 
there's a lion. I'm going to turn in the other direction and run. And it leads them right to a pack where all the younger ones are and they're just in. So some of you out there may be wanting to go over documents, especially when it comes to business, especially when it comes to you know, property. Uh, some of you, if you are going through any uh, divorce or possibly looking into getting married, you know, uh, anything like that. All right. Also too, we have the Hawkeyes here. Some of you could be working with eyesight issues. All right. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. And uh, a lot of the times too, when we're working with our eyesight, that has a lot to do with indigestional issues. Okay. Uh, so some of you may have stress ulcers. Some of you may have you know, uh, just stomach issues, and this does collab when it comes to eyesight as well. So it's just like, I, I, I'm blind as a bat, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But there are ways of working around that. You still have the insight. You know, physically, you may lose your sight. However, I do apologize about the noise in the background. All right. So, and then we've got the angel right here. We've got you know, the uh, ox, I think that's an ox right there, actually. Okay. It's like, yeah, okay, let's just get to love, Carolyn. What does love have to do with any of this? You're going in all directions right now. You're also being pulled in a lot of different directions. And it's just like, which one do I choose? Which one do I go in? Should I listen to this person? How about this? Um, do what makes sense for you. Do what feels right for you. All right. And it's great. It's wonderful to get advice from others. It is uh, absolutely fabulous. However, are they happy with their life? You know, did they fulfill their dreams? Did they fulfill their destiny? A lot of you are going through the mill right now. All right. You've got so many people out there that love you. However, a lot of you, a lot of us have so many people out there that are out to get us and you just have to remain strong and I know it's hard. I know it's so tough, especially when you just want to get, stay in that bed. You know, you don't want to get out of it because it's just like, all right, now, now what am I going to be working with today? Who's out to get me today? You know, uh, some of you could also be working with gang stalking, possibly cyber bullying too. Unfortunately, the times that we live in right now, that's very common. And unfortunately, that's how people work. And hey, again, working with your selenite crystal here to help absorb, uh, purify your environment because that's all you can do is take care of yourself, take care of your environment, take care of your family. You know, uh, also to be careful on announcing things because uh, a lot of times too, people will want to unfortunately use that type of stuff against you. So that's another message. Now, when it comes to love specifically, we have this card right here. Uh, it says, listen with your heart. You're listening to what is being said to you, but need to listen with a loving heart, okay? And I understand some of you could be in that, should I stay, should I go situation? You know, is this person really that into me? Um, I believe for a lot of you that this person is, and I also am seeing a lot of exes trying to come in and, oh my gosh, uh, stalkerish type of things, and you're just like, no, I'm good. You know, a lot of you could be like, I'm good with being single. I'm working on myself. I'm trying to get my business started. Maybe I'd like to do a YouTube channel. You know, maybe um, I'd like to do something else, but I'm not interested necessarily in seeing somebody and a lot of times, exes that don't get their way, oh boy, do they fly off the handle, honey. Uh, but you're a Taurus, you know how to handle this. And it's just like, okay, why do I always have to keep dealing with the same type of stuff, all right? Change your number, change your email, do whatever it is you have to do. Uh, you know, I've even had to move at times. Mm -hmm. Maybe this could be a friend uh, that you befriend, uh, befriended, thought they were okay, possibly a business partner. And okay, uh, yes, listen to them if they are apologizing, absolutely, hear their side of the story. However, how many times have they done this to you? And how many times have they done this to others as well? And are they gonna keep doing this? You do, again, what feels right. You listen to your heart, okay? Their heart may be in the very uh, great place. However, um, it, it's, it's really up to you. All right, now for those that are single out there, again, this is communicating. This is being brave, letting somebody know, hey, I'm into you. I, I wanna maybe date you uh, and, and try that. So again, this is listening with a loving heart. Perhaps it's not the right time right now. 
Again, we're in interesting situations, especially, you know, if you're in lockdown isolation, it's hard, you know, to uh, get that connection with somebody. And there is somebody out there for you. However, and I know it sounds very boring and, oh, this whole loving yourself before we could find somebody, it is so true. Because what we put out is exactly what we attract. And I, I, I know uh, I may be getting older and it sounds like, you know, okay, well, that's what she's saying. We are telling you these things because we do not want you to make the same mistakes that we have in order to help maybe uh, less pain. For some of you that are already in committed relationships, this is pretty much communication is key for a lot of you, especially right now. All right. Maybe somebody is going through something and they do not want to talk to you about it. They do not want to scare you about it. Uh, drained, especially if you've got children. Uh, a household to take care of and you're doing it all on your own. Taurus, remember, teamwork is great. Teamwork is key. And it's very hard for a Taurian to trust somebody. However, your angels and your spirit guides are there with you, whether you believe so or not. And I love it how she has this shell that she's putting it up to her ear, you know, because I don't know if any of you have done that, the conch shell there from the uh, ocean, you put it up and you can actually hear the waves of the ocean, whether you're physically at the ocean or not. Okay, so grounding is definitely important here. Your very last message here we have is the temperance card right there. All right. Who are you about to lose your patience with? Jeez Louise. Okay. So some of you could be also working with the fire energy. That could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Some of you could also to be wanting to be on the lookout for air energy. That could be Libra, you know, Aquarius, possibly maybe even a Gemini. And um, the imagery of this card here, it's just like, all right, you know, um, I'm in the water here. I've got this cup here. It's got this fiery energy, uh, something to do with red hair too. I don't know uh, if this possibly could be yourself or possibly be somebody that you are working with or somebody that's kind of got their eye on the situation. All right. So, you know, also to making sure that you're keeping your patience when it comes to others, especially when it comes to yourself. All right. Um, so very quickly, I hope this reading was helpful to somebody out there. Thank you all so much. And uh, until next time.